Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Fallout 4, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. That is sad. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Unfortunately. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Robots. robots. Fusion-powered cars, portable computers. <laughs> That's heavy as hell. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war war never changes honestly when I first saw that intro I was pretty teary eyed war never changes you're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm. All right. So that is true. War never changes. And doing this series, I can't wait to re-experience Fallout 4 all over again. Okay. So. I just did my character. If you want to take a look here, that's my character. Redhead. She thick, but it's okay. And um, let me see if you guys can take a good look at her. Hold on. Let me get something with a nice view. That's what she looks like. A hey, Nice. Anyways. While my husband is checking himself out. Hun? Why don't you see if breakfast is ready? I'll go see if breakfast is ready. Whatever. I mean, the bathroom's clean, so it's perfect. Way of the future. Okay. See, there's a Mr. Handy. Got our launderer station right over here. Thank God. Have my own washer and dryer. Nice little painting here. Isn't that too hot? Okay. Ooh, comic book. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. 
<laughs> All right, let me drink some coffee. And I drank it without even picking it up. Wow, the way of the future. All right, age vac not working right again. Call our repairman. <gasps> we have no AC. I would be crying too. I need my AC. What the fuck? Okay, you could do that. Yeah, he could change his shitty diaper. That's good. Get more sugar bombs and nuka cola. Uh, bread, cranberry juice, cake, two boxes, laundry soap, bleach, dish soap. It's a weird ass list. Oh, Lord. Settle up Salisbury steak. Rated A plus. Steak in a box? I'm not sure about that. Nuka Cola. Ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Yeah, I guess. I mean. I'm not surprised there's dishes that need to be cooked. Uh, that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering me. He can suck a dick because I ain't, I ain't talking to him, so. More of the same. Damn, got some bourbon and wine in this bitch? Hell yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the TV. Hmm. So I'm not answering the door. You can answer the door because I'm not able to talk to him. Like auto late nights. It was worth it. Yeah, boy, it was. Let me take a look at the. How's the baby doing? Enjoy your coffee, son. Right. Look at my son. Hey, baby. You're so cute. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm ignoring the salesperson. Oh my god, this is my son! Oh, music to my fucking ears. Anyways, this is my room. Obviously, the bed needs to be done. Wow. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Oh, that's a, that's a classic camera right there. Yeah, oh well, maybe he'll go away at this point. Like, I'm not going to deal with him. No need to get dressed twice. That's it? That's all the clothes you have in this closet, bro? I'm so proud of him. Oh, so he's the one that went to the army. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. Yeah, this house is pretty decent. I like it. Oh, uh, fine. I'll answer the fucking door. Oh my god. The fuck you want? Good morning. Voltec calling. Who? No offense, but no soliciting. Yeah. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. Not today. You so what the fuck are you doing here? How happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Urgency. What's so important? That you're harassing my door. Less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. Heck in a handbasket. My language. Who uses the that? Kaboom is. It's inevitable. I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. Hmm. Catch my meaning? Really? Now I know you're a busy woman. I am. So I won't take up much of your time. So get the fuck I'm out. Being, um, a precious commodity. Hmm. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh just go away. Yes. Won't take but a moment. Bitch! I said go away! In the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> That's the spirit. I was being sarcastic! <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Oh, Lord. 
So much for my sarcasm. Okay, so I got 21 points, right? So... And intelligence, perception. Let me let me go through each one of them so I can make some good choices here. So strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. Perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in vats. Endurance is a measure of your overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and the action point drawn from sprinting. Charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects the number of experience points earned. Agility is a measure of your overall fit finance and reflexes. It affects the number of action points and vats and your ability to sneak. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune. It affects the recharge rate of critical hits. Obviously, charisma is going to get, like, a good number of points. Strength, I like carrying shit. Why not? Intelligence, yes, I need that. And I can say I'm a very lucky, lucky person, so... Affects your total health. Yes, I need health. There you go. That's that should do the trick. And hmm. Fuck it. There you go. Now the name. Let's call it. Let's call her Denise. Because it sounds like a nice name. <clears throat> Anyways. Wonderful. That's everything. I uh, just gonna flop this over to the vault. Uh-huh. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Whatever. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Yeah. yeah. Sean, no price is too high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good answer. Anyways, let me sit down here. Ah, oh, relaxation. Excuse me? I'll be there in a second to help, okay? What the fuck? I just sat down! Oh, fucking kid, I swear to God. Fine, I'll take care of the baby. This little punk ass doesn't even let me relax. Hi, my little booger. Oh, look at my little bendejo. Come here. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? No, he ain't. Yeah, I did spawn it earlier. It was really nice. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Mm. Oh, most of the time. Yeah, y'all pain yes. ass. After breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Wow. Is that how y'all conceive Sean? Nasty asses. I love it. Wait, what happened? The fuck's happening? Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What? Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Explosions of what? We seem to have lost contact with what did he say? Station. Explosions, honey. He said explosions. What the fuck? Oh what the fuck? Wait, what happened to the TV? Yo, I paid cable for what? For before it doesn't work? Wait, Codsworth. Codsworth. Stay safe, honey. Okay? Stay safe. Yeah. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh fuck me, bro. Wait, the army? Honey, let's go. The army's here? What the fuck, bro? Hold on, little guy. Hold on. 
Oh my god, first the TV's off, now everyone's running a monk. Oh lord have mercy. Now I realize what that salesperson meant by him saying it, it's coming soon basically. I think he knew what was gonna happen. It's a good thing. Oh, he was about to get shot to pieces. Oh. Okay. Um, am I in the program, sir? We need to get in. We're on the list. Yeah. Infant. Adult male. Yep. Adult female. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Okay. God, how does all uh, pfft, honey? I I don't even want to know. At this point, we're on the fucking list. We need to get in way over here. Come on, why are you so slow? Okay, 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 okay. Shit. Fuck's sakes, honey, you good? Shit, this is some crazy shit, bro. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. I love you. Woo! What? A nuke? Oh my god, it's a fucking nuke. And everyone's still outside. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm pretty glad we're okay. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... <gasps> no, we'd no. all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. <sighs> Everything okay? This is our new home. That's it? This is our new fucking home? We just witnessed a fucking atomic bomb being blown in front of us, bro. And those people upstairs, like, you mean to tell me they're, like, radiated to death? Like, I don't know. What the fuck, bro? Like, oh my god. Just imagine if I didn't sign those fucking paperwork, we would have been dead too. Okay, okay, leave them alone. They're basically processing what the fuck just happened, bro. Why the fuck you have a smile on your face? Like, I don't know. And you know, fuck you, please. Anyways, right when the explosion happened... Oh my god. Honey, come on, let's go. Right when the bomb exploded, my controller actually shook. This is some crazy shit right here. Okay. What the fuck you looking at, bro? Male and infant. Hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. So we're gonna have kumbaya moments and roasted marshmallows in this bitch? Whatever. The hell's that? Oh lord. Just step over to the table. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine. What's good? It's down Thanks. the hallway right there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right. Right. Okay. I guess we're playing follow the leader. See? This is our new home. I know you're low key trying to Oh, you're going to love it here. This is I know you're freaked out. Facility. It's okay, honey. Honey, I know you're trying to stay calm, but your face is giving me I'm about to freak out vibes. Oh god, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but Vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive here. Oh my god. Oh god. Yo, these Vault Tech um people are so casual and nonchalant. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. These vault tech staff? It's a good fit, don't you think? They're... Taking everyone off the list as they come in. Bro, aren't you concerned that half the fucking world's being bombed to death? Like, why is everyone so fucking calm? The fuck are we? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Right. Hey there. Just follow your guide. He'll get you all situated. So you mean to tell me we are about to be put in these big ass refrigerator-like contraptions? Anyways, oh lord. Baby, don't worry. Little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. there hey. See? Mommy's not going far. Yeah. Also, just step inside and put on your vault suit. Oh lord. Hun? Go ahead, hun. I'll take Sean with me. Okay, fine. I guess. Excuse me. Take your time. We've got all day. Hmm. Okay, honey. Well. Hey, hun. <sighs> I just want to give Sean a moment. Okay, honey. Well, I love you, Nate, and I love you, Sean. And no matter what happens, we got each other. Okay? I love you both. Let's go. Yes, I put on the suit without changing my clothes because Fallout 4 logic. Decontaminate and depressurize for what? Secure. Okay, honey, let's go. Occupant vitals. Normal. I am bre I'm panicking right now. Cause just like this character, I hate feeling like I'm I have no room. So wait a minute, he said decompressurize and decontaminate, and yet, based off of the obstacles on that screen, on the window, I'm basically being f frozen to death. Well, not to death, but I'm, I'm being frozen. So they lied. Okay. Okay, so I'm able to look around. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Oh, we're being let out. Okay. Finally. What the f- <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? You fucking grimy bastard, you killed my man! What the- Yo, he just called me back up! Yo, this guy's about to catch hands! And look, I'm being frozen to- d Again, I'm being frozen again! What the fuck? Damn. Damn. Yep, I'm on the floor. Make friends for the floor. Okay, so first off... They lied. They said they were gonna D contaminate and depressurize us and look everything is fucking frozen we were turning into fucking popsicles oh <gasps> oh shit oh god why would vault tech do this why would you trust the government oh no 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 yeah i'm two steps ahead <gasps> oh no. My husband's dead. I'll find who did this. 
and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Oh no, my husband's dead. Insert crying noise. Wah. Damn, what the fuck, bro? So first off, my husband's dead. They stole my baby. They told us that they were gonna just clean us, but they turned us into human popsicles. Who else is dead? What? I can't be the only one left. Hello? Bitch, you are. Oh my god, everyone's dead. Dead as hell. And I'm the only bitch alive. Why did they do this? Cause they ain't shit. Okay, Nate and Sean. Okay, obviously. Deceased cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support fail. <gasps> Get the fuck out. Are you, you mean to tell me? Wow, everyone's legit dead. Okay. So everyone's legit dead due to asphy asphyxiation. Meaning they suffocated to death. Wow. And me, Nate, and Sean were alive. The only survivors. Until that motherfucking came, killed my husband, Kidnapped my baby. Oh lord. This is really not the future that I wanted. Yo. I could have sworn that this place is brand new. This shit is fucking rusted, dusted, crusted. How long have how long have I been asleep? How long have I really been asleep, bro? This is bullshit. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh fuck, this is a crouch. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a fucking nightmare. The fucking cockroach is the size of a fucking dog. Oh my god, I got goosebumps right now. Ew, and it's making those noises. Oh, you fool. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, yuck. Yucky, yuck, yuck. Yo, I did not have goosebumps. Okay. Alright, let me get my scavenger instincts kicked in right now. And let me search everywhere to see if there's any good shit for me to take. Like, legit good shit. Stin pack? Yes, because that's a health pack. Oh my god, there's nothing. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.